Good morning, everybody. I am in the kitchen looking out of the window onto a blustery, grey, quite bleak day at Leland. The wind is howling out there. It's unlatched the little cover that we've got for the gas bottles. They're flapping around. Such grey weather. This is rare, but for once it is reflecting the way that I'm feeling on the inside. And I nearly didn't make this video because if I'm honest, all I want to do is curl up into a little ball in my bed and just stay there for a few days. I can't do that anyway. But Amory told me that no, I shouldn't be scared to actually show you how I'm feeling, that I'm vlogging my life, not just the happy days, which are the vast majority of days. So I'm still filming today and show you a day in the life of Leland where we're all just a bit subdued. But first things first, I need tea. It's so weird to be the first person up. I'm never the first person up in the chateau, but I don't know if it's the same with you, but whenever I'm feeling a bit low, that's the only time I'll wake up super early with my mind just racing. We've had a very, very difficult couple of weeks in the chateau, not just me, absolutely all of us. And we've been sort of hunkering in together, looking after each other, which has been lovely. But by far the worst thing that's happened, as many of you will know by now, is that the really wonderful scholarship student, Makwatso, who was on the scholarship that we fund in South Africa at the Vigliotti Fashion Institute, has passed away incredibly young. And I keep thinking about her grandmother and how she must be feeling. I find it very hard to talk about. So instead, I'm going to look at the beautiful flowers from someone who watches the vlogs in Australia and who knew that we were all feeling low and who sent these to cheer us up. And it's mimosa, which is one of my favorite flowers. It smells wonderful as well. Do you want the last ombelie? Do you know what, actually, get? I saw. They are delicious. Ombeline knew that everyone in the house is a bit low this week and she made us amazing biscuits. They are amazing. Mm. How's Molly? Mm. I just had a walk, went down to, well, went round into the woods, went into um, and saw the river in the woods. It's literally kissing the top of the bank. No, and it's been so dry. You know what, I'm going to go and have a look at it. That's why I come and pick this up. What is it? Dan came by yesterday. Yeah. Oh, and you couldn't be there for the ceremony. No, That's really such a shame. Oh, that is very cool. And you raised £10,000 for charity. Mm -mm. Raised 23. And that's the highest they go on their vinyls. Because we didn't make the 25. Okay. We were 2,000 uh, something shy. Oh, next year. Yeah. You'll get that other vinyl oh, yeah, next we'll year. Vinyl. And it works. Dan said actually you can play it. What's on it? He doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, we've got to find somebody who's got a vinyl, a record player. But we'll yeah, come pick that up, open up for the boys, and uh, yeah, crack on. Okay, well, see you later. See you later. <laughs> Take care. I've wrapped up warm, and yes, I know I look completely ridiculous, but I do want to go and see the stream and show you all the mini daffodil. The mini daffodil is a tiny, tiny little daffodil that is currently growing out in the old Jardin à l'Anglaise, and the flower is about the same size as a daffodil, but the stalk is non-existent. Good morning, lovely ladies. Good morning, Spud. Good morning, Thor. And good morning, Ruby. I see that everyone is out today. Ruby's looking so fluffy and Thor is already looking just magnificent. You can tell when his tail starts to get like that, it means summer is coming. I will go through this way. Okay, Ruby is making his feelings extremely clear and wants a treat. How is it that cats have been engineered to have exactly the sound to make humans crumble? All right, okay, okay, you win, you win. I'm going back in for a treat. They're kept in the pantry, just through here. Cat sticks. Yes, there you go. If that's my hand, it's the stick you're supposed to take. Wow, that goes in very, very quickly. Well, I shall leave Ruby and carry on with my explore of the day. Oh, nice try. I'm going to walk down towards the stream through the Jardin à l'Anglaise. And this is where all of the spring bulbs are. The little crocuses have been gorgeous, but they're just going now. And can you see behind them the micro daffodils? There's my mug. There's 
the world's smallest daffodil. Something so delicate and gorgeous about it. Tiny symbols of hope and of spring. I think that when you're a little low in life, it's very important to focus on the tiny things that bring you happiness. I think today is going to be a day of small pleasures, all the little things at La Land that bring me happiness on a daily basis. Sometimes we forget to look around and see those things and remember the joy that they bring to us. Pleasure number two, coming down to the stream and remembering how incredibly blessed I am to live here. Standing here, I can imagine the day when the waters of this stream start to fill our newly restored lake. And now we've submitted all of the lake plans. So it's just a question of waiting and hoping and keeping our fingers crossed that we get the permissions. I love the moss on the stone banks. It's so beautiful, it seems unreal. I'm heading back up to the chateau because I just got a text that Amri has come back from La Châtre with croissants and pain au chocolat. And let's face it, living in France, those things definitely count as one of life's small pleasures. Quite major pleasures, if you ask me. On my way back up to the chateau, I've just seen this and it's the remains of a huge iron cross that was by the chapel. You can just see the base of it here. It was very tall. And it's just given me the idea that somewhere in the woods, quite far from the chapel and the chateau, somewhere that's almost a little pilgrimage or meditation spot, I would like to make a memorial garden to remember my father, Ian the plasterer, my cozzo, all of the people associated with this chateau that we miss, a place that we can go to and remember them. So I'm going to speak to the others about that and I'll also talk to Nick and his new helper Cameron who is such a lovely man. In fact I'll try and find him later today, I know he's going to be here today so I'll try and introduce you all and he's been telling me that he would like to map out all of the paths in the woods and make walks around the woods and whilst he's doing that we can also create a little private area where people can sit alone and just meditate. It smells so good in here. Everyone is talking about the smell in the entire chateau. Yeah. It smells of lavender. Yeah, I feel like everyone is very zen and relaxed right now. Well, Pavina told me you're the source of the smell. Yeah. <laughs> in what way are you the source of the smell? What are you doing? Uh, I'm using lavender that we harvested last year, yeah. and I'm just making a lemonade from it, so. Lemonade, lam lavender lemonade. Yeah. I didn't even know that was a thing. <laughs> and if I put the light on, maybe everyone can see the color. And then I harvested one of our lemons today. No, so it's our lavender and our lemons. Yes. Amazing. <laughs> By the way, great trousers. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Another sartorial triumph. Aww. I feel safe when there's bread in the house. <laughs> you two are here. We have pastries. Yeah, all's well with the world. Oh, good idea. I'm going to go up and get changed now, but on the way, I want to show you something that gives me a little bit of happiness every time I see it, and I see it several times a day, and it's probably one of the parts of the chateau that you see the most as well, and it's the staircase up to my bedroom. I'm always filming running up and down here, but I don't pause and show you why I love it so much, and it's because of all of the pigeons on these prints. The design idea for this staircase was a bit of an in-joke in the chateau because chateaus in France tend to have chapels, moats, towers and pigeonniers, those towers where pigeons live. Because in the past, only the aristocracy were allowed to have them, which is why they're so linked with chateaus here. And Lalande has absolutely all of those things. Chapel, tick, lake, well, yes, and it's about to go back, hopefully, moat, towers, all of it but no pigeon tower. And so I turned my staircase tower into a virtual pigeonnier with all of these prints. And every single time I walk upstairs, I look at the pigeons and they make me happy. Many of you know that they are by far my favorite birds. And I don't mean the fancy pigeons that we have on the walls here, they, they are great too. I mean the proper city pigeons because I just think they show such character, 
personality, resilience. You can always tell each one apart from the other. Even if they have a missing eye or a missing leg, they just keep on going. And I'm very inspired by pigeons. So looking at these every time I go up or downstairs is just one of those little pleasures that gives me a little shot of happiness at several different points during the day. And somebody sent me this really stunning pigeon paperweight. And we're wondering if there's a way that we could attach it to the top of this post where there was clearly a missing finial. We just had the little thread for it. Now, obviously that would have been wooden, but maybe if we make a little wooden base and stick the pigeon on and he can be just looking over all of his comrades. I am feeling much more human after a long bath. I've washed my hair, I've got dressed. I do, however, still have a mountain of admin waiting for me downstairs. And I've decided that first I am going to treat myself with a face mask. And I love this device. This is called the UFO2 by Froyo Sweden. And I'm incredibly happy that they've offered to sponsor this video with an ad because it's just so luxurious and girly. And I'm really excited to tell you all about it. This little thing has been called the world's most sophisticated supercharged facial. Now that is quite exciting to hear when you live in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by only cows as far as the eye can see and quite far from anywhere that you can get a sophisticated facial. It has cryotherapy, so it cools down, thermotherapy, it heats up, it emits red, green or blue LEDs depending on the type of mask that you're using and it even pulsates with T-sonic pulsations. Pretty exciting because all of that together means that there's much improved penetration of the ingredients of the mask into your skin. And the masks are really fun, there's so many to choose from. I've got just a few here. There's a Manuka Honey one, a Shimmer Freak one, Actually, I haven't used that one before. I will use that one before a party. These are the ones that I've mainly been using. There's make my day and call it a night. So as I'm not going to sleep right now, I'm going to focus on make my day. This one is so lovely. It's got hyaluronic acid and red algae. And I love it because it is deeply hydrating. And that's one of my major skin problems. I have inherited from my mother, thank you, mummy, very dry skin. And with any stress or worry or tiredness, that just becomes immediately apparent. So make my day it is. Each pack comes with several masks, which is so great. It's very easy to use. You just take this little ring off and then pop on the mask, which is just covered with all of the active ingredients. And then click that ring back into place. There we go. Oh, we're good to go. The whole thing's powered by an app. So I have my pink phone and my pink UFO too. And then you just click on the mask that you want to do. So I'm doing a UFO mask treatment. Foreo, make my day start so i've already done this i've clicked everything in place use a circular motion it tells as you, you gently glide ufo across your face and neck distributing mask essence evenly mm. allow your mind and body to slowly awaken as the red led and a gentle warmth oh, prepare really your skin so to much. receive the full benefits of this complex it feels so incredibly nice I even have the spa room music in the background. Relax and enjoy a soothing facial massage as T-Sonic pulsations infuse moisture into your skin for a radiant, healthy looking complexion. I'm sorry, I can't speak right now because I'm in another world. As the warmth gradually decreases, the anti-pollution formula is locked into skin while the green LED helps reveal a brighter, more even skin tone for an all-day glow. You're coming to the end of your treatment. No! Take a few more seconds to relax and enjoy, and prepare to feel refreshed. It's such good fun, and you don't need to rinse it off, you just rub it in. It's incredibly hydrating. I just feel totally pampered by it. Miles from any spa. I absolutely love this thing. After going out for that walk in that blustery weather, my skin now feels hydrated, ready for the day. I'll go and put my makeup on. And since I started using it, generally my skin feels healthier and brighter. And if you'd like to try it for yourself, then just check out the link in the description box below. Oh, this is exciting. What on earth could they be delivering? I'm going to go down and find out. What do you think it is? I think it's for the plumbers. Look, it's a... Uh, oh, it must be the heating does. engineers. Okay. Well, I'm sure it's tremendously important stuff, yeah, but I'm sorry, I not just wildly exciting. Them. I say plumbers. I say heating engineers. <laughs> <laughs>
so sorry. <laughs> There's no stopping me now. A quick cup of tea and I will be ready to settle down to work. Look who I bumped into on my way back to the kitchen. Hey, we're just getting the machinery out today because after last night's torrential rain and hail. All these storms we've been having. Yeah. Still, I'm happy for the rain. I'm happy that we got these ones down on this corner as well with that wind because the way it was coming in. Yeah. Well, I have the footage of you doing that, don't I? Yes. OK, I'm yeah. going to show everybody you taking that enormous tree down. The gardeners will be happy again, the girls will be fine. We've got a load more chips. All the gardeners are constantly clamouring to Nick that they need more wood chips, more wood chips, more wood chips. Well, they've got lots here to use. And for anybody that's got any questions, this side's pine, that side's hardwood. We try to keep them separate because they need to use different ones on different plants. Is that because of the acidity of the Yes, pine? in the pine. Oh, and here's Cameron. I can introduce Cameron to everyone. I'm very happy to be here. So can you tell us a bit about your background? Right, well, so I've lived in France now for the past around about 11 years, and I'm a French-trained forestry technician. So in easy terms and simple terms, that basically means whereas Nick is uh, an expert at pretty much everything that is work in trees at height and specialist when it comes to forestry management, the economical side of it and just doing the paperwork and the fiddly stuff on the ground that's more my speciality oh good so great so you're a perfect team well i've been through the forest a couple of times and to be fair it actually looks a lot better in the woods than it does <laughs> outside the woods it's mainly it's so dense around the outside but when you're actually in there it's a quite a nice open space dotted so i think um just lining out the pathways and so uh, if you have anybody cl people that want to come visit the chateau you can actually give them maps and I they can that. see the area they yeah. can see where how long the paths are where they can walk to and it gives them a little bit more of a visual idea of what they can do here instead of just wandering around with head like headless chickens. No, I completely agree and I'd also like to find little areas we can do almost tiny gardens within the woods. Oh yeah, that's that's uh, actually something that is quite um, it's quite good to do f just for the forestry as well because it will add extra um, it'll add extra life into the forest again. Oh, that's interesting. So okay. it helps uh, actually having that mini for the mini gardening idea. Um, it helps uh, kickstart the the forestries develop again. It's we they're actually quite often doing them now in France. They're starting to do that. Great. Well, that's lucky because I'd <laughs> love that. All right, that's something we can look at together then. Yeah, no, definitely. Now it's been cleared. I've moved a bit of the soil away as well. Yeah. It's just making it so much easier. We can get into the shed a lot safer, and all the plants now safe because we haven't got the danger of the tree falling on it it's so funny. and dropping you branches. Plant, I literally think little plants that you plant. No, 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 no. this plant. <laughs> That's a different type of plant. Big boy. Fantastic. Absolutely love all of this, seeing all of this happening in the woods. It just feels good. Yeah. It feels healthy. It does. And I was showing everyone the mini daffodils. <laughs> love them. <laughs> oh, no, I know, they're dinky. <laughs> and the crocuses are up now as well. Yeah, it's it's just lovely. All right, cool. I think I'll go. I'll go back this way. Yeah, I'm going ice skating. I'm going ice to try. Skating. Good luck. Try and get my skid steer out. <laughs> good luck. Really, really nice seeing you. And you. Always good seeing Nick and Cameron. And now I'm walking past the chickens, back to the kitchen where I hope to find the croissants. They always look tremendously busy. 
Gentlemen, we must stop meeting like this. Hello. Good to see you. Everything is good. Um, yeah, the wind is quite strong. That's why we have to check on the covers in the garden. Yeah, yeah. Um, everything is just blowing around everywhere. I can see here. Yeah, yeah it's just flying happy. everywhere. <laughs> good seeing you. See you in a sec. <laughs> now let me show you what I've been putting off. Philip and I have been doing all of the filing. We have this massive push for a huge amount of filing for the previous year at the beginning of the year. So we're nearly there. Actually, it looks a lot worse than it is because nearly everything is sorted into its correct files. I just have a bit more paperwork to do and then it'll be behind me for the year. As I'm working upstairs in the office, I have these really pretty files and I keep everything there, but then I transfer them all to big files like this, basically at the end of the year, and then they can be stored out of the way and I keep the office as clear as possible. But it just gave me an idea because this is the files that I use, beautiful marbled ones with Chateau de la Lande. I love them. Honestly, they make filing such a joy. And I also had the tissue box like that. And I've decided to buy tissue boxes like this for all of the bedrooms because we're just now doing all of the ordering, getting ready for the season. Natty's getting all of the towels and I'm dealing with the little touches like this. So I'll order that and then I have to get this room completely clear before dinner tonight. Are you tearing the shutter apart? I thought the plan was to put it together. Well, I thought when you walk around, you see bits and bobs falling apart and whatnot. So I thought I'd just make everything the same. Thank you. Thanks. So you, you've decided destruction is the way forward. Yeah. Destruction first and then constru and then creation. <laughs> What's happening? Uh, taking the ceiling down in the kitchen hallway oh, and up no. to Natty and Jerry's apartment. Oh, no. Not because it's, there's something wrong with it. I know. Oh, no, no, just... no. We don't like to take things down. There's nothing wrong with it. We like to take perfectly decent finished bits down. Yeah. It's for the lads so they can get their pipe work, uh, so they can get their flow and return for the uh, apartments. Okay, well, at least a flow and return is going in. Let's face it, that's going to be good. <laughs> well, let's have a look. So this bit has already come down last week. Yeah, so they've um, already got their copper pipe work in. Oh, uh, yes. They've already got their bends in. Lovely. Oh, yes. Well, yeah. Wow, that's... Is it weird to find a pipe really pretty? No, That's shiny. That's really pretty. Yeah. And then they've got their multi couche there which is going to be flow and return to feed the apartments, Cherry's and uh, Natty's apartments. And the multi couche that's the white that's pipe. The white. So that's running all the way down there. OK, and we can't go through this no, door. It's unfortunately box up because that's still not. <laughs> OK, well. But then the next thing is to take this all out, uh, to take the plasterboard near enough off the uh, Jenny so they, they can get to the manifolds, all the pipe work for the manifolds and yes. do that. What fun. Yeah. I still can't believe it's being done though. I mean, I still have to pinch myself for having a new heating system put in. It is pretty epic. It is epic it and is it's epic. it's wonderful. Yeah. No, it's going to be awesome. At the day that we turn that on, there will be champagne. Yeah. We're going to have a heating party. You never really need an excuse for champagne in this place, do you? <laughs> right, I'll see you later on. Thanks. Good luck with it. Cheers. <laughs>
don't know what I would do without him. And whilst it's stressful seeing things get destroyed, I know it's for such a good reason for this amazing heating system that's going in. And Philip, of course, has plans to make it more beautiful as well. So the idea is that as the ceiling goes back on, instead of having down lighters, we'll have lovely lanterns going all the way down the back corridor. So it's going to be much prettier. You have changed outfits again. I swear, every time I walk into the kitchen, Jared's wearing something different. This is another classic. Absolutely yep. love it. So why why do we have a whole new outfit now? Well, I decided that today's a great day since it's not raining to go take some pictures. <laughs> oh, nice. So yeah. you're going out to the garden? Yeah. Is this for your Instagram? Yeah. It's actually such a lot of work. People look at Instagram, they don't realise the amount of work that has yeah. to go into it. Yeah, I just felt like... I don't know, it's, like it's been so sad and everything. I wanted to kind of dress up like a clown. And... You're cheering us up. Yeah. Is it working, Pavlina? Yeah, I found a reference in an old, old cartoon. Is that a Ukrainian cartoon? No. The one that you used to watch? <laughs> yeah, it's children's uh, cartoon. Yeah, look at the bow. The bow is exactly the same. This you... is colourful, though. This is for children. Yeah, and this is the muted yeah, version. Yeah. You, sh you were born in the wrong century. I think so. Natty and Amory are out tonight having dinner, so it's just the four of us having, oh wow, a candlelit dinner in the old dining room. That looks so pretty. And Jared, thank you so much for cooking. <laughs> no problem. This is just what we needed. I love these glasses of yours, Philip. I like the different colours. You've got mm -hmm. the dark green, you've got the light green. Ooh. It's got all the greens out. Oh, this looks so good, Jared. <laughs> It's good to be with you all. And cheers over the beautiful flowers. Cheers. cheers. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us for another day of La Land Life. This morning, I didn't think I'd be able to film, but filming for all of you helped me a lot. It helped me to see the beauty all around me. And as always, the people that I live with helped to put a spring in my step by the end of the day. A huge thank you to all of my patrons for their support at this difficult time. And today I'd like to say a special thank you to Hanny Ross, Mary Ryan, Elizabeth Scanlon, Sven Schreiber and Jennifer Scott. Thank you for supporting the Chateau Diaries. Lots of love to all of you and I can't wait to chat to you next week.